This webinar will cover NextGene's somatic comparison tool, which can be used for somatic mutation analysis with whole exome sequencing data when tumor and match normal samples have been sequenced. The somatic comparison tool works by comparing three projects, a tumor, a match normal, such as a blood sample, and a pool of normal samples from multiple sources. The normal sample project can be used to remove non-somatic variants, and the pooled normal project can be used to remove false positives due to systematic errors caused by the sequencing or alignment. The first step is to create the three projects using NextGene's Project Wizard or the Auto Run tool. When creating the pooled normal project, you should load together all the sample files for the normal samples that are to be pulled together. So here we can select the 10 FASTA files for five normal samples, selecting them all at once. For all three projects, the mutation filter settings should be adjusted to allow for the detection of somatic variants, specifically by lowering the mutation percentage threshold to 5%, for example. It's also recommended to adjust the total coverage to 10, for example, or higher based on your expected coverage depth. After clicking Finish, you can use the Create More Projects New Project option to set up the other two projects. All projects will then be processed consecutively. After all three projects are completed, you can use the Somatic Mutation Comparison tool to identify the somatic variants in the tumor project. To access this tool, first open the viewer by going to File, Open NextGene Viewer. Then in the viewer, from the Comparisons menu, select the Somatic Mutation Comparison tool. Here, you can click the Load Projects icon to load the project files for the tumor, match normal, and the pool. For each project, Click the Load Project icon and browse to and load the appropriate PJT file. Here's our project for the tumor sample. And we can do the same for the match normal sample. And finally, for the pulled sample. Now that the project files are loaded, you can adjust the following settings as needed. Maximum contamination. Somatic variants may have up to this allele frequency in the normal project. This is to account for contamination in the normal sample with the tumor sequence. The number of pooled samples. Here you can indicate the number of samples that were used for your pooled normal project. The maximum contamination setting is divided by the square root of this number and used to account for possible contamination in the normal samples in the pooled project. The somatic allele count setting requires the tumor sample to have at least this number of reheads containing the variant. Relative directional balance. The forward and reverse balance ratio in the tumor project divided by the same ratio in the normal project must not exceed this value. This option can be deselected to skip the filtering based on the relative balance. However, selecting this option can filter out variants that are less directionally balanced in the tumor sample than in the normal sample. Somatic allele frequency ratio. The ratio of the mutant allele percentage between the tumor and normal projects must be greater than this value. And finally, the pulled allele count ratio. The ratio of the number of reads with a mutant allele between the tumor and the pull projects must be greater than this value. This option can also be deselected to skip filtering based on the pulled allele count ratio. Click OK to generate the comparison. The results shown include only variants that are present in the tumor project but are not present or are found at very low levels in the match normal and pulled normal projects. 
In addition to the report table, you can also choose to display visualization by clicking the Check Projects to View Alignments icon. You can select all three projects, then click OK. You can now double click on any variant in the report to visualize the reads of that position in all three samples. The somatic mutation table is sorted by somatic mutation qualities, where a higher quality is given for novel variants as compared to the normal samples that are found in a larger number of reads. Coverage in the pulled project is generally much higher than in the tumor project. The number of reads with the variant and the forward reverse read balance is also generally higher in the pulled project. This helps to reduce the number of false positives. False negatives could occur for variants that are found in only a few reheads with a low frequency or due to capture failure for a region. In testing, we found that somatic mutations can be found in whole exome sequencing data at frequencies as low as 5% when the average coverage is at least 150x. If we consider the tumor project alone, we can see in the mutation report summary that there are a little over 37,000 variants reported for this sample. After using the somatic mutation comparison tool, the total number of variants is reduced to just 62 total variants. Thank you for viewing this webinar. For more information, you can visit us at www.softgenetics.com. There you can find additional webinars by clicking the analysis corner link. Application notes can also be downloaded from our webpage. For more information or to receive a trial version, contact us at info at softgenetics.com.